All right, guys, I'll go back to the 12th update on Tropical Cyclone Freddy, which is beginning to re-intensify today after really just losing everything it had. I mean, when it came off the coast of Madagascar, it was looking very bare. It was actually a tropical depression. Um, thankfully, its uh, circulation um, was actually disrupted a little bit, so the rainfall impacts in Madagascar weren't as bad as they were expected to be um but now its circulation is definitely closed again we can very clearly see that on visible satellite images but here's the infrared and we can see a really nice uh, convection blob there and uh, convection is pretty minimal on the western side southwestern side um if it starts blowing those up though we could be seeing a storm approaching probably cyclone intensity maybe 60 miles per hour on the landfall i don't think it'll get as strong as forecasted though uh before just a few days ago because the storm uh really wasn't looking very good when it came off the coast of madagascar it's expected to still be a fit uh, 45 mile per hour storm uh, but it weakened a lot more than that currently we're giving it maximum sustained winds of 60 miles per hour that is 95 kilometers per hour gusting with winds of 70 miles per hour it's moving west at 15 miles per hour and currently it is a threat to land of course mainly a rainfall threat at this time for mozambique um the reason for the 60 uh, the 60 mile per hour reading um you'll see why uh, in a minute but currently here are the satellite estimates adt with 40 miles per hour aidt with 45 miles per hour the atcf or jtwc going with 50 miles per hour msu going with 60 miles per hour satcom are going with 48 knots which equates exactly to 55 miles per hour and the curtis and final analysis going with winds currently of uh, 60 miles per hour currently from me and my analysis team we have agreed on this mainly due to this now as you can see this is uh windy com here the wind reported layer now i also led the sea surface temperatures under here uh where the storm is going to be heading 29 pretty much throughout most of the mozambique channel but look at that and um, there's a little island there i'm not sure what it's called but there is a, a weather uh thingy there and 56 knots that equates um i think that is that is yeah 65 miles per hour so that is quite powerful we're going with 60 at this time mainly due to amsu also going with 60 but that is very interesting nonetheless and that was reported also about an hour ago so that was quite a while ago as well uh, also about three hours ago there was also another 56 knot wind report so it is quite powerful it might even be approaching 65 miles per hour right now um, but realistically, we don't really know. And uh, next time, I will convert it into miles per hour, so it's a bit easier to see. But th this is in knots, 55 knots or 56 knots. Um, take a look at the JTWC forecast cone. This is uh, pretty outdated at this time. But you can see they had it at 30 knots, which is a tropical depression. But they were expecting re strengthening up to around 55 knots before the landfall in Mozambique. Uh, 55 knots with gusts up to 70 knots, which is 80 miles per hour. So pretty powerful there. Um for all this storm system and that's the name of the island europa island um in uh the middle of the mozambique channel and that landfall is mainly going to be a rainfall for us the storm's going to be around for quite a few days it's remnants anyway bringing a lot of rainfall to mozambique um here's the current visible imagery and we can quite clearly see that center of circulation is very very defined and closed it's, uh easterly flow moving in for um easterly moving west into the storm center northeasterly there uh, moving around into that big convec and then moving around into the storm and then we also have that north flow moving around into the storm going east and then south and then west you can just spin in nicely it's very well defined and very close and um, take a look at some cat imagery or ca imagery you can see very good but it's just that western side and southwestern side it needs some more convection there um the main reason why it's not blowing up that convection is probably because the storm uh is not used to being in the ocean um usually storms do take a while before uh, they can start blowing up convection again but maybe just with those little convection uh blocks they're just a little bit maybe uh minus 10 degrees maybe that's signaling the start of a more pronounced convection block which could cover the entire center anyway thank you for watching this update on tropical cyclone freddy i hope you enjoyed i'll see you in the next update Peace out.